Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the video editor software. Now if you don't know what that is, if you just type in video editor on your computer, it should come up as this and you'll need to go ahead and press on that. So yeah, let's get into this. So the first thing you'll need is your YouTube channel. You'll need real time player and you'll need um, your vi the video editor. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and hop over to real player. Real player converter. You can click the link in the description, it will take you to this website where you can download the real player to actually like do this all it's just this but I'll type it out for you I'll copy it and I'll leave it in the description so yeah so the first thing you want to do is you want to find the video that you want so I'm not going to go over to files I'm just going to go over to my videos so click on this so as you can see I have loads of videos so I'm just going to quickly split this video and record one for you guys so delete files so yeah I'm going to quickly go off, hop, hop and record it so okay. okay guys so i've now recorded the mini video now now i'm going to show you how to do it so if you're having problems with the video editor and it's like saying can't do these files you want to download the real-time player like i said once it's downloaded the real-time player converter you might see this and it might be like something else it might be like mp4 or mp or the real media or might be mp4 it might be, M it might be mkv but you want to go to this option right here mp4 you can search for it it's just mp4 and it should come up like this and you want to go to that you want to click ok but it'll come up with this apple apple mp4 apple android windows say so, and then you want to you can choose this my music my video browse you go to same direction as original then you click the big add button up here and then i've got the supply video right here so i'm gonna go ahead and click on it and it will say it will say whatever you named it dot mkv if it doesn't it will say something else but as you can see this big green button right here go ahead and press it now it's rendering it and making sure that it's converted once it says files converted one of one successful one if it says if it doesn't all of them it means it should be able to do it so now it's complete you can go ahead and click the close button then if you go to vids as you can see it says supply dot mp4 so now you can upload it so if I go over to the video if I just create the new video I'm just gonna quickly delete this then you go over and go from this PC find it I'm gonna find supply dot mp4 and it will add if I click remove and then if I try putting it into the supply video it will say this choose some properties that can't be read so we can add them you need to do that so yeah that's really how to do it and if you don't want the other videos just go ahead and swipe up press delete deleted so yeah that's how to do it and yeah I've got to render this video now, edit it and do everything. This is legit what I have to do every single day. Sorry about if I haven't been recording for a bit. First off I have to open this and now I have to and then I have to open up the real 
with real time player converter, add it, start it mp4, go over to videos, find video, open it, just get rid of it, and then once it's rendered, which will take like an hour, I go over to the video editor, edit my intro, edit the whole thing, then need to go over to YouTube and wait like hours for it to upload. Oh my gosh, honestly it does take quite a long time to upload. So yeah, that's it guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Just remember to leave a like and subscribe, that would get appreciated. If you did enjoy, please do leave a like. Like I said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Good.